The city of Goma in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo has witnessed its fair share of violence. But this street fight aims to achieve something different, self-confidence and social healing. Gloar Balume and his friends are practicing capoeira, a non-contact Afro-Brazilian martial art that combines dance, acrobatics and music. 21-year-old Balume has lived on the streets of Goma for 13 years since his parents split up and his father died. As the leader of his group of friends, who call themselves the Fire Gang, he hopes Capoeira will help them realize their dreams of becoming a professional musical group. Capoeira is important to me. As an aspiring musician, I tell myself that when I am good at capoeira, I will make some songs and videos where I practice capoeira, and that will help me a lot in the future. Capoeira's origins lie in the Kingdom of Congo in present-day Central Africa. It's where Portuguese slave traders took their human cargo to work on sugarcane plantations in Brazil in the 16th century. The art was developed by slave communities as a form of resistance that could nurture emotional and spiritual empowerment. Authorities banned it for several decades after slavery was abolished, recognizing its power. Now, a Brazilian charity, Jingo Pela Paz, or GPP, has brought Capoeira back to Congo. They offer homeless young people a safe space away from the frequent violence and rape where they can live, play and socialize. Flavio Soldad works for the organization. The positive thing about capoeira is that it's easily thought of from person to person, especially for children. They learn and teach others and it's something that they grow to learn. And when a child develops the love for capoeira, he also becomes a leader. So we're currently identifying children and young people that we can train and who will also go on to join the organization. This is a space where children come to have fun, receive positive messages, guidance, but also have role models to look up to.